I go diving, I always take along my dive buddy, which is, you'll see in a little while, my uh, inflatable kayak. It's meant for diving. It holds my hook assistant, which is the air breathing apparatus I use when I do dive. And until I dive down, I just use my snorkel. There's my dive raft. There's my hook assistant. It has your dive flag on it and everything else. And then later on, you'll see where I actually have not snorkeling. I've got the breathing apparatus that you see hanging around my neck, dropping off. You put that in, and you're ready to go. going down on this dive because there's a queen conch I want to show you. They've really come back heavy in Florida. 
I gotta put it back because it is alive. One of the things you're doing when you're diving is you're looking for the hiding places for lobsters. It could be a simple hole, it could be a ledge underneath an opening or underneath, underneath some coral. And so you're when you're floating along the top snorkeling, you're observing the bottom, trying to find any of these places. So what we'll try to do is give you a little picture of what you might see on the bottom. And again, you're looking for all kinds of possible places where they hide. Sometimes you see their antenna sticking out. Sometimes you don't. You have to just dive down and look to see if they're hiding underneath a ledge. This dive I went down thought I saw some lobster, but I didn't find any of those. But I did find an empty lightning whelp shell. Again, you can't take any live conchs at all in the Florida Keys. But this is a, a small, medium, little small lightning white whelp shell. Well, it looks like we spotted a hiding place possible for lobster. You can see the crack in the ledging in there. The only way to find out, because you don't see any antennae sticking out, is to go dive and see if you can find any. So there I am, looking under the ledge. I'll wind up taking my tickle stick and poking it into the rock. If there's anything back in there, I'm able to come out. Hopefully there's no more a eel, just a lobster. That's why sometimes you got to be careful where you're poking your stick. Uh, anyway, I'm looking in this particular case, all the searching, didn't see anything, couldn't get anything to come out, so no luck this time. Center screen, there's a lobster crawling. Look at him, center screen. See the lobster? Go on now. See if you can spot some of the queen conch you're then are. What you're probably seeing now is going to be coming up is pretty good sized conch, but they are juveniles, uh, meaning they don't have the large wingspan sticking out on them. There's one there. 
There's another one. Again, even though they're a pretty good size, about nine inches or so, it's a juvenile. Well, it looks like I'm finally going to catch a lobster. I'm just poking at him now, trying to get him to come out of this, underneath the ledge. Nets in behind him. There he goes in the net. Bring him up close. Now I'm going to manipulate him, get him out of the net, and then he has to be measured to make sure he's legal size. That has to be done in measurement in the water before you can take him out. This one was for dinner tonight. Center screen. There's a lobster crawling. Look at him. Center screen. See the lobster? Go on now. This is a barracuda you're looking at. I've seen them anywhere from 18 inches to 4 foot. Uh, other than mean looking, they leave you alone. <laughs> 